I can talk, but I do not like this place. It's the poor kids monument for them. They die here for no reason. Stupid atomic bombs. And now I hate what happened with Putin and Russia and Ukraine. So I don't like it. I need them to stop the stupid atomic bomb. So today we're going to Hiroshima. It's our only day there, yeah? Yeah, and we part only of tomorrow. stay yeah, we only stay one night. We had the hotel mm -hmm. in Hiroshima. So we got up early this morning, it's only like eight thirty in the morning, eight forty in the morning. So we're gonna go, we're gonna check out the uh, Shin Gate that's out over the water. It's really cool in the pictures. We're of course we're gonna go to the atomic museums and all that stuff. Hopefully we're gonna make it to the Hiroshima castle also. Hiroshima castle. We're gonna see how much we can fit in in just one day in Hiroshima. So of course on this station like every other so you can find the, the drinks. Let's see what we can do one day, 24 hours in Hiroshima. We're in the taxi right now, going to the hotel. We're dropping off our bags, and I think we'll start by going to the uh, museums and stuff first because it's raining out. All right, we made it to the hotel. We're staying at the Anna Crown Plaza here in Hiroshima. Absolutely beautiful lobby. So from the train station, the high-speed train, the Shinkaisen train station to here is about 20 minutes on local trains and monorails and streetcars, so we decided just to grab a taxi, which was 1,200 yen, or about $8, much easier with all of our bags. Hopefully we can get our room, it's early still, at the very least we're going to check our stuff, and leave it here at the hotel, but we'll show you the room next if we can get it. Hey baby, is it weird that I think this is the right type of weather for visiting Hiroshima? It's, it's kind of depressing. Yeah. I think that's the boat we're going to go take later. But first we're going to go walk through the Peace Memorial Parks over here. So this is the line for the Hiroshima Museum. Oh, if we wait in this line we won't be able to see anything else today. So I think we might wait and come back tomorrow morning before we leave. There must be a hundred people in this line or two hundred people. So we asked somebody in line, they said they've been in line for over 30 minutes and they expect to wait another 30 or 40 minutes. So we're going to come back in the morning before we take off for a... Where are we going tomorrow? Fukuoka. Fukuoka. Oh, sumo wrestling tournament. That should be fun. You're right. So we won't gonna do it now, but we're gonna try in the morning. So we're gonna go check the park, check mm -hmm. the memorial. There's the, on this little island here is where most of, or it seems like most of the Hiroshima National Peace Memorial uh, statues and shrines are. The Peace Memorial Hall is here. So 
of this monument is dedicated to the victims of the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. This also seems to double up as a Shinto shrine as well. Here you can put incense and light them. So this is Hiroshima National Peace Memorial Hall for atomic bomb victims. Which in the first day was 80,000 people and more afterwards. The poem that was written for this piece is entitled Praying for the Peace and the Peaceful Repose of the Departed Souls. Hmm. It's school field trip, all praying at this monument. Children's Peace Monument. It's dedicated to the children. Stupid atomic bombs, and now I hate what happened with Putin and Russia and Ukraine. So I don't like it. I need them to stop the stupid atomic bomb. So we're walking through the park. We're going to see the memorial bell, and my second sunglasses is not because it's very sunny is because these places and especially the kids they made me cry so we are going to see the bell and then we are going to see where they uh, dropped the bomb where and the, where it landed and uh, the last building from uh, left from after the bomb dropped after only the bomb one drop. building is still left standing and and they left it in memory of what happened. So here is the bell. We're going to see the bell. Let's go. So this is the bell of peace. It's a symbol of Hiroshima's aspirations to let all nuclear arms and wars be gone. You can only hope so. Chris is going to ring the bell of peace to let all mankind hear that nuclear war and war is not the answer. Let everybody hear. Do you think everybody heard you, baby? Yes. The Atomic Bomb Memorial Mound. At 8.15 in the morning on August 6, 1945, the atomic bomb was dropped here in Hiroshima. And this mound was originally the corpses of a lot of the bodies. I can't even read it. So sad. Just too much depth. This is the place where on 6 August 6, 1945, the bomb was dropped in Hiroshima and 80,000 people, they lost their life straight away. 
and a lot later because of the radiation and the radiating water died. So, sad. So I don't know the history, but this is the monument of the memories of the Korean victims of the bomb. As you can see there's all these paper cranes and different origamis left behind in their memory. Here, a Aoi Bridge was probably the original target of the atomic bomb. It landed just over there, a couple hundred meters. And this bridge was actually built in 1932, so it was built oh. like uh, 13 years before of, before the bomb. And the bridge survived the bombing, but not really. It was heavily damaged and was unusable for over 35 years before being replaced in 1983. Hey. This is the only remaining building left standing today. 600 meters away from where the bomb fell? 600 meters away. I don't believe we're here. I learned this in, in school about the bomb. And uh, was this, the bomb in Hiroshima, on 6 of August 6, 1945, and then three days later was another bomb in Nagasaki, August 9, 1945. And then two days later, my mom was born. That, that makes me a little bit happier because since I, since I got here, I'm just nonstop crying. So. Sad. and we're going to Nagasaki in a couple of days. I hope we're gonna make it. So you feel the weight of a place like this, the history. The sadness. The sadness. It's the like utter so senseless sad. destruction of war. Uh, especially at the atomic bombs. Mm -hmm. They can destroy very fast. It's undiscriminate absolutely annihilates everything in its wake. And that's it, the Atomic Dome is what they call that building, the last remaining building here. That was here the day the bomb dropped. 1945, 77 years ago. And this building is still standing, and I'm, I'm glad they didn't renovate it or change it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's their memories, what happened to their families and what happened to the whole city and a, in and one day. It's a memory for the whole planet to never, never repeat these mistakes. So reading over the signboard here, Learn that this building wasn't a World Heritage Site until 1996. It blows me away. I would, have, I would have thought it was way before that. At 8.15 a.m. in August 6, 1945, an American B-29 bomber carried out the world's first atomic bombing. The bomb exploded approximately 600 meters above and 160 meters southwest of the Hiroshima Prefectural Promotion Hall. Ripping through and igniting the building instantly killing all, everyone in it. Because the blast struck from almost directly above, some of the center walls remained standing, leaving enough of the buildings and iron frame to be re recognizable as a dome. After the war, these dramatic remains come to be known as an A-bomb dome. A 
The building, now known as an A-bomb dome, was designed by Czech architecture Ian Leather. Completed in April 1915, the Hiroshima Perfectural Commercial Ex Exhibition Hall. So through the years, he took uh, on the new function and was renamed the Hiroshima Prefectural Products Exhibition Hall. So now, after veter one day after Veterans Day, in the state, in the state, we're in Japan in Hiroshima, where the bomb was in 1945. A weird. And and in uh, what was it? January? We're in Hawaii in Pearl Harbor. Prevention. Yeah. Prevention day. Yeah. What was it? Memorial Day. It was like um, 70 something uh, years the since the bombing. the bomb Harbor, was bombed at Pearl Harbor, but yeah, I don't remember the I don't Harbor. remember the day, but we are in Hawaii in that day at Pearl Harbor. So uh, if you didn't see that, you can we have a movie, a vlog from there, so you can you can look up. It was in 1941, so four years later, the American bomb Hiroshima and Nagasaki.